Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. We are discussing matrices and determinant, and in this uh, this is the lecture number six. I hope you have already watched part one to part five before watching part six. In this lecture, I am going to discuss about uh, singular, non-singular matrix, and adjoint and inverse and all about it. So let us discuss singular and non-singular matrix. What is that? So singular matrix is what? A matrix, a square matrix, is said to be said to be singular matrix matrix if determinant of A is equal to zero. If determinant of A is equal to zero. Similarly. For non-singular matrix, a square matrix is said to be non-singular matrix. Non-singular matrix matrix if determinant of A is not equal to zero. Determinant of A is not equal to zero. So these are the two things. One. A square matrix is said to be non-singular matrix if determinant of A is not equal to zero, like this. So singular and non-singular matrix. Now we have to learn about the adjoint of matrix. Adjoint of matrix. What is adjoint of matrix? So if A be any square matrix. If or even directly you can write transpose of cofactors of matrix A of matrix A is called adjoint of A. Adjoint of A. The transpose of cofactors of matrix A is called adjoint of A. It is denoted by by A D J A adjoint of A. So if A be any matrix like uh, here if A be any matrix of like this say 2 3 4 5 so what will be that? And cofactor of first one is equal to what is cofactor? Cofactor of C11 is minus 1 to the power 1 plus 1, and this cancel, this cancel, what is that? 5. So this is 5 itself. C12 is cofactor of first row and first column, so what is that? 1 plus 2, this cancel, and this cancel. So 3 will be there. That is minus 3, minus 1 to the power, and odd number. C21 is this cancel, this cancel. So minus 1 to the power 2 plus 1 into 4, that is minus 4. C22, this cancel and this cancel. What is that? 2. Minus 1 to the power 2 plus 2 and 2. What is that? That is 2. So there are, this is the transpo, uh, cofactors. And we have to find transpose of cofactors. And that is called a joint of A. So adjoint of A is nothing else but 5 minus 3 and minus 4 and 2. It means in simple word we can say these two will interchange. These two will interchange and the sign of these two will interchange and sign of these two will change. Like see 4 is become minus 4, 3 become minus 4. And place of this diagonal elements will change and rest of them sign will change. That is place of in 2 into 2 matrix in 2 into 2 matrix adjoint of A is obtained by interchanging the position of element position of diagonal element 
element and interchanging the sign and changing the sign of other changing the sign of other diagonal element diagonal element diagonal element means principal diagonal element first right now so here diagonal element means principal diagonal element this is principal diagonal so interchanging the position you can take another example and you can verify yourself say if p is a matrix of 3 5 minus 2 7 so adjoint of p directly can be written as 7 3 diagonal element place of that will change and sign of this will change <laughs> so this is the adjoint of p so so simple for 2 into 2 matrix but whenever there is a matrix of order 3 any other example you can also take say q is another matrix like minus 3 minus 1 1 and 2 then what would be adjoint of q adjoint of q can be change the position of these two and change the sign of these two so 1 and minus 1 so that will be the answer so simply this can be verified also adjoint of a into a adjoint of a into a and a into adjoint of a is equal to determinant of a into i this is the first property and that we can prove here also for first question say a is what 2 4 3 5 a is 2 4 3 5 so a into a joint of a a into a joint of a i am taking here so a is nothing else but uh, 2 4 3 5 so a is 2 4 3 5 2 4 3 5 right and a joint of a is 5 2 and minus 4 minus 3 like this so what will be the product first row first column first row first column is that is 10 plus 10 plus minus 12 and first row second column that is minus 8 plus 8 second row first column what is that second row first column is 15 minus 15 right and second row second column that is minus 12 and plus 10 so what is that in this case it is left like minus 2 0 0 minus 2 so is it determinant of a into i what is the determinant of a determinant of a is 5 to 10 minus 12 10 minus 12 is minus 2 so if i took here minus 2 as a common then what will be left 1 0 0 1 and this is nothing else but i and what is that determinant of a into i so we can prove it like this so it is true for any order of matrix now adjoint of a into a let me check it out for adjoint of a into a also adjoint of a into a adjoint of a is what adjoint of a is 5 minus 4 minus 3 2 5 minus 4 minus 3 2 and a is what so 2 4 3 5 so now product of these two will be 5 into 2 10 10 minus 12 again 5 4 is 20 minus 20 3 2 is 6 minus 6 plus 6 and 3 4 is minus 12 plus 10 and what is that that is also coming as minus 2 0 minus 2 uh, 0 minus 2 0 and minus 2 so what is that minus 2 if i would take common then it will be 1 0 0 1 and that is determinant of a into i so the same thing will come anyway no now if there is a matrix of order 3 if a is equal to this say 1 minus 1 0 2 3 minus 2 and minus 3 1 4 like this now find adjoint of a 
So first we need to write cofactors, right now. So we will write cofactors C11. What is that? C12, C13, C21, C22, and C23. C31, C32, and C33, right? That we need to write cofactors. And you know, the minus 1 to the power 1 plus 1, that is 2, since even, so there will be no change. 1 plus 2 odd, so this will change. So only 4 will change the sign, rest of them will not change the sign. As we have already discussed it in the previous lecture, if it is not clear to you, you must uh, uh, watch the previous lecture, so that it will be clear to you. Minus 1, i minus 1 to the power i plus j, that is, 3, so it will be negative, here 3 plus 1, 4, so it will be positive, 2 plus 1, 3, so it will be negative, 2 plus 2, 4, so it will be positive, 2 plus 3 is 5, so minus 1 to the power 5, so it will be negative, this will be 4, positive, 5, negative, and 6, positive, so only 4 will be change their sign. Now, cofactor of first row, and by eliminating first row and first column, 3, 4, 12, minus, minus 2, 12 plus 2 is 14. I can write directly. Now for second, this cancel, this cancel, right? So 4 to ja 8 minus 6, that is 2. And since sign of this will change, so that will be minus 2. Now this cancel, this cancel. 2 into 1, 2 and plus 9. Minus minus 9, that is plus 9. 2 plus 9 is 11. So I can write here 11. Now second row, first column. This cancel, this cancel. So, what is left? Minus 4 minus 0, that is minus 4, but sign will change, so it will be plus 4. Now, second row, second column, cofactor of second row, second column. So, these two will cancel, and 4, 1, 4 minus 0, that is 4. Second row, third column, these two are cancels out. 1 multiplied by 1 is 1, minus 3, that is minus 2. Right now? And now, third row, first column. 2 minus 0, that is 2. Here, second row, third column, this cancel and this cancel. 1, second row, third column, this cancel and this cancel. 1 multiply by 1 or minus, this one is cancel, I think, 2, 3. This and this cancel. So, 1 multiply by 1, minus 3 is minus 2 and sign is change, so it will be plus 2 plus 2. 1 minus 3 that is minus 2 and sign will change that is why it will be plus 2. Now these two are cancelled so it is 2 minus 0. Now this one cancels so it will be minus 2 minus 0 that is minus 2 but sign will change so it will be 2. Now this cancel and this cancel so 3 1 ja 3 minus minus 2 that is 3 plus 2 which is 5. So now at joint of age what transpose of cofactors. And therefore, at joint of A is equal to, we can write here, 14 minus 2, 11 and 4, 4, 2, 2, 2 and 5. This is their joint of A and that will be the answer. Now, you can prove your own that uh, at joint of A into A or A into a joint of A that is equal to determinant of A. But it is not necessary to prove every time. Whenever it is asked, you need to prove it. Otherwise, you no need to prove it. Got it? So, I hope you got it how to find a joint of A. First of all, you have to find the cofactors, cofactors of corresponding elements and then the joint of A has to be determined. Right now, find the joint of A. That is transpose of cofactors of corresponding element of A. So, at joint of A. Even you can check it that at joint of A into A is equal to always determinant of A into I. So, what is determinant of A? If I want to find it, determinant of A, then that will be nothing else but uh, first row multiply by their corresponding cofactors that is 14 and minus 1 multiply by minus 2. So, 14 and 2, 16. So, determinant of A will be 16 only. And now, at joint of A into A, if I can write here, 
then this must be 16, 16, 16, something. 4, 2, minus 2, 4, 2, 11, 2, 5, like this. And age, what? Age here, 1 minus 1, 0, 1 minus 1, 0, and then 2, 3 minus 2, 2, 3 minus 2, and then minus 3, 1, 4, minus 3, 1, and 4. So, if I make the product of these two, 14 into 1, 14, plus 2 into 4, 4 to the 6, 14 uh, plus 4 to the 8, 14 plus 8 is 22, and minus 6, 22 minus 6 is 16. Now, 14 min multiply by minus 1 is minus 14, and 4, 3 is 12, and 2, 1 is 2. So, 12 plus 2, 14, minus 14 is 0. Similarly, 14 into 0 is 0, 4 to the minus 8, and here it 4 to the 8, so it will be also 0. Similarly, that will come here, minus 2 multiply by 1 is minus 2, and 4 to the 8, and 3 to the 6. So, minus 6 or minus 2, minus 8, plus 4 to the 8, that would be 0. Second row, second column, this is 2, and 4, 3 is 12, 12 to 14, and 2, 16. So, that will be 16. This will be 0, 4 to the minus n, 2 for the minus 8, so that will be also 0. 11, 1 the 11, and 2 to the 4, 11 plus 4, 15, and 5, 3 the minus 15, so it will be 0. Similarly, 11 multiply by minus 1, minus 11, and 3 to the 6, and 5, 1 the 5, 6, 5, 11, plus minus 11 is 0. And now, this is 11 multiply by 0 is 0, 2 into minus 2, minus 4 and 5 into 4, 20. 20 minus 4 is 16. So, this is nothing else but 16i. So, here we can prove it and uh, you got it, I hope so. So, it's very tough. Now, it's turn to find out inverse of matrix. So, what is inverse of matrix? Inverse of matrix. What is that? If A be any non singular matrix, non singular matrix, if A be any non singular matrix, then A inverse is defined as defined as A inverse is equal to one upon determinant of A into a joint of. 1 upon determinant of A into its joint of A. Right? Na? So, 1 upon determinant of A into its joint of A. 1 upon determinant of A into its joint of A. Now, why it is non-singular? Because if it will be 0, then something divided by 0 will be infinity. So, it is not defined. So, A inverse is only defined if A is non-singular, that is determinant of A is not equal to 0. So, in previous question, if I want to find it 1 upon determinant, uh, A inverse, 1 upon determinant of A into a joint of A, and what is determinant of A? 16, and what was the joint of A? A joint of A was 14, 4, 2, 14, 4, 2, and uh, minus 2, 4, minus 2, minus 2, 4, 2, and 11, 2, 5, 11, 2, 5, where A is, A is, what was the matrix A? A was like uh, 1, minus 1, 0, 2, 3, minus 2, 1, minus 1, 0, 2, 3, minus 2, and minus 3, 1, 4, minus 3, 1, 4. I have taken just previous question because uh, we have no need to find cofactors and adjoint. We can write it directly. But for any new question, you have to go through all this procedure. First, you have to find cofactors and thereafter, you have to deal with the inverse of matrix. Now, there is a property that A inverse into A is equal to I. A inverse into A is equal to I. Let me prove this property. Property is 
a inverse into a and a into a inverse is equal to i. So let me check out whether a inverse into a is i or not. So a inverse is 1 by 16 and what is that? Let me write here. Uh, 14, 4, 2, 14, 4, 2, minus 2, 4, 2, 11, 2, 5. And this one is 1 minus 1, 0, 2, 3, minus 2, minus 3, 1, 4. Now, let us check out whether they are equal to i or not. So, 14 into 1 is what? 14, right? First row, first column. 14 into 1 is 14. 4 into 2 is 8. And 3 into 2 is minus 6. So, 8 minus 6 is 2. So, 14 plus 2 is 16. Isn't it? Can I write it directly? Yes, you can do it roughly. I am writing directly. 14 into minus 1 is 14. 4 into 3 is 12. And 2 into 1 is 2. So, minus 14 plus 14 is 0. And again, if you product this, it will be 0. Earlier, we did like that. 0, 16, 0, 0, 0, 16. We have done it earlier. Let us see this one. I have done it in a, this is nothing else but a joint of A into A. So, a joint of A into A is 16i. This is what happened. So, here we can write, divide by 16. So, what will come? That will be, if you divide by whole 16, this matrix, then that will come like 1, 0, 0. 0, 1, 0, and 0, 0, 1. And this is what? I. Similarly, if I could uh, go with A into A inverse, then that will be also uh, 1, minus 1, 0, 2, 3, minus 2, and minus 3, 1, 4. And multiply by 1 by 16 into 14, 4, 2, minus 2, 4, 2, 11, 2, 5. In that case, 1 by 16 can be taken out. And now, 1 minus 1, 0, 2, 3, and minus 2, and minus 3, 1, 4, multiply by 14, 4, 2, minus 2, 4, 2, and 11, 2, 5. So, this will be 1 by 16 into 1 multiply by 14 is 14, minus 1 multiply by minus 2 is plus 2, and 0 multiply by 11 is 0. Again, this is 4 and minus 4 plus 0. This is 2 and minus 2 plus 0. 2 into 24 is 28, and... Uh, 3 into 2 minus 6 and 11 into minus 2 minus 22. 2 into 4 that is 8 and 3 into 4 is 12 and minus 2 into 2 4. So here this will be 2 into 2 4, 3 into 2 6 minus 10 and 3 into 4 minus 42 and 1 into minus 2 is minus 2 and 11 into 4 is 44. So, minus 42 and minus 2 minus 44 plus 44 0. This is minus 3 into 4 minus 12 and 1 into 4 is 4 and 4 into 2 is 8. So, 8 plus 4 12 minus 12 is 0. Minus 3 into 2, what is that? Minus 6. 1 into 2 is 2 and 4 5 are 20. So, in that case, what will come? See. The logical thing is 1 by 16 into 14 plus 2 is 16. This is 0, 0, 0 and this is also 2 minus 2, 0. 8 plus 12 is 20 minus 4 is 16. 4 plus 16 minus 10, 0. And this is 8 plus 4, 12 minus 12 is 0. And this is 20 plus 2, 22 minus 6 is 16. So, if I divide by 16, what will come? 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and 0, 0, 1. And what is that? I. So, in this way, A inverse into A is equal to I. I hope you got it. 
similarly uh, for uh, any matrix even if you multiply by a inverse into a that will be also i so i is identity matrix and a inverse into a is equal to i and uh, that is also what a into a inverse a into a inverse or a inverse into a is also equal to i so i is where i is identity matrix i is identity matrix right i is identity matrix okay so now the next thing is we have to prove that some applications of this like uh, if a is equal to say 3 5 2 minus 1 b is equal to 2 3 minus 1 4 like this and question is second to just to prove second property prove that a b inverse is equal to b inverse a inverse this is what we need to prove so first of all we will multiply this is the question how to solve this and just to prove this property first we need to find a b a b is what 3 into 2 6 minus 5 that is 1 3 into 3 9 plus 10 a is 19 and 2 into 2 is 4 and plus 1 5 and 2 3 is 6 minus 4 that is 2 so um, it comes like 1 19 5 2 now determinant of a b is equal to what that is 2 when you are 2 and 19 5 is 95 so 2 minus 95 that is minus 93 and now a inverse is what a b inverse is equal to 1 upon determinant of a b into a joint of a b and 1 upon determinant of AB is minus 93. At joint of 2 into 2 matrix, what I said, that you just change the diagonal element and change the sign of these two. So, it will be like this. So, this is AB inverse. You can write this equation as 1. Right now, this one as equation 1. Now, <coughs> B inverse A inverse, we have to find. So first, we will find the modulus of B and modulus of A as well. Modulus of A is what? Modulus of A is nothing else but uh, Modulus of A Any determinant of A is 3, 1, 0, 3, minus 3 and minus 10, minus 13 And determinant of B is nothing else but uh, 4 into 2, 8 minus minus 3 and plus 3 that is 11 so b inverse a inverse now adjoint of a is 2 into 2 matrix so adjoint of a can be minus 1 3 minus 1 3 and uh, minus 5 minus 2 minus 5 minus 2 change the sign of these two and place of these two and change the sign of these two Similarly, at joint of B is what? So, at joint of B is 4, 2. Diagonal elements are 4, 2. So, I can write, interchange them. And minus 3, 1. This is minus 3 and 1. Because minus 1 will change with 1. So, that will come. Now, B inverse is what? B inverse is 1 upon determinant of B into at joint of B. And uh, that is what? One upon determinant of B into a joint of B. So determinant of B is eleven, and a joint of B is like this: four minus three, one and two. And here, what will come? A inverse H. 1 upon determinant of a into a joint of a and what is that minus 1 upon 13 into a joint of a is minus 1 minus 5 minus 2 3 and what is that 
if you multiply by minus it will be 13 into um, this is 152 minus 3 so like this but let me check the previous one whether if there is any mistake then we can do it a b let me check once again so uh, this is 9 in fact so that will change so this is 29 because it will come like 29 and 29 multiply by 5 is 145 so what will come here that is 143 minus 143 so that will come minus 143 right now. so this 2 will change minus 143 will come here minus 143 right so we can do this like now if I multiply by minus then what will come take negative sign inside then what will come uh, that will be 143 into minus 2 19 5 minus 1 this is 1 equation 1 now b inverse a inverse is what c now b inverse a inverse is what 1 upon b inverse is 1 upon 11 into 4 minus 3 1 2 and this is 1 upon 13 into 1 5 2 minus 3 so that will be 1 by 11 into 1 by 13 into 4 1 3 minus and pro product of these two that is I can write here uh, let me write it denominator because it will less, less space there so what will come these two are numerical scalar quantities so they can be multiply 11 into 13 and what is left 4 minus 3 1 2 and this is 1 5 2 minus 3 so if you multiply this together then what will come 143 right into 4 1 ja 4 minus 5 3 3 2 ja 6 and 4 5 ja 20 plus 9 this is 1 1 plus 4 and that will be 5 minus 6 so what will come that will come like 143 into minus 2 29 5 and minus 1 and is it uh, the a b inverse yes minus 2 29 that was 29 you know this was 29 29 so minus 2 29 and 5 minus 1 and 1 upon 43 so this is the same thing so from first and second we can say from first and second we can say that a in b inverse is equal to b inverse a inverse so i hope you got it this is the proof isn't it this is true for all type of matrices whether it is of order 2 or order 3 uh, it is uh, true for all type of matrices you can verify your own if there is any problem you can ask i hope you got it right so in next class uh, we will discuss about the system of linear equations and some more applications of the matrices as well so till then keep watching and also share and subscribe our channel also refer to your friends and uh, if you haven't subscribed just subscribe this now and uh, hopefully uh, you will enjoy this uh, for upcoming video and you will get the notification quickly as soon as video will be uploaded so thank you very much. God bless.